Hi guys, I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird. It's because I'm so thirsty and I just woke up. <laughs> well, I woke up about an hour ago. I still haven't even eaten breakfast yet. So like, I think I'm gonna have pancakes. Anyways, today I wanted to like talk about um some tips and tricks for drawing characters and like really cute pastel themes because I feel like a lot of people get lost right here. Like they want to draw a character with pastels, but they always like go to the same colors basically they always default to the exact same color schemes which is like lavender pink mint like very soft versions of all those colors when i feel like you guys are like really limiting yourself you could use so many more colors which is why i'm using val for this as a demonstration because her scheme is so bright and so loud that like Oh my god, you wouldn't think that it would work for pastels, but I'm gonna show you how I'm like gonna get her like super bright, loud color scheme to work really nicely with pastels, despite the fact that her hair is like cherry bright red. She has like bright gold eyes. Her skin is like tan too, which is like really important that I, this is the reason why I wanna talk about it. So many people are like, I can't do pastels with darker skin tones or they can only do pastels to an extent, which I can, I'm gonna show you an example of another character, my darker skin character, Clover, that I've drawn with like pastel tones because I'm not drawing her in this thing, but I just wanted to work with like really bright, loud colors as well that I could like, you know, tone down some. But like I've drawn Co Clover, who's like my darkest main character. And she has, she can be like pastel and still have her dark skin. If you follow, there's so many artists who do this too, like, I cannot remember quite how to pronounce it, so I'm sorry if I butcher it, but she, Roy Room, I'll put like a example of her artwork or their artwork and link them in the description. They draw so many like diverse characters in pastels. And like, that's one of my biggest inspirations when I draw like pastel art, like they're so good at it and they like, they look so nice they're so soft and they draw like darker characters and all that so like you can let i use them for inspiration a lot of the times when i'm drawing like my darker characters like what colors for the skin i should use da -da 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 -da, stuff like that but like you can use like darker colors in your pastel arc and you probably do it all the time without even realizing that like with the lines i'm using a very dark like toned down version of like a like a brownish like black because that's going to give it a much more softer appearance than if I use just pure saturated black, you know, well, pure black. Because that's one of the things with these pastel artworks. It's not just about having, like, light colors. It's about having these, like, these saturated and soft colors as well. So you can, like, make it match. You just got to soften up the colors, which is what I'm doing with the line work. So anyways, I've been on like this super pastel kick. My husband gave me the rest of the stimulus check. Basically, what our plan was, he would use what he needed to use like for our house, investments, things like that, like decorations, making the house more comfortable. We live in Florida, it's so hot here. Anyways, um, I wanted to, I was looking at AliExpress after I got the money and like get looking at all these like really cute things because i bought a lot of dolls but like the doll oh my god everything is so expensive right now you freaks need to lower these prices because these dolls are not as rare as you think you are but that is like another conversation like we talked about it with like monster high i talked to some of you guys for saying that it's super super expensive right now i'm just gonna wait until they re-release the brats dolls before i try to buy anymore anyways um i was like just so inspired by all these like cute pastel like super cute water bottles and mouse pants and i was like oh my god it would be cuter if my own characters were on it so i kind of am gonna like look into like getting this like print on products and stuff but not right now Anyways, like that inspired me to do it. So I was like, how am I gonna get Val in that like nice soft pastel tone? So as you can see, what I'm doing right here is I'm like taking her original skin tone and then like softening it up basically, like doing a much softer version of it. I'm trying not to go lighter. I'm just trying to go a little bit softer. And then we go to her hair, which is this bright cherry red color. And again, that's too bright for the pastel scheme. I'm softening it up. I'm trying not to go lighter though, because like, 
is also a challenge. Like, I want her to look like herself without, like, changing her entire color scheme, you know? So this is what I'm doing. I'm, like, just softening up her colors just a little bit. You can see the reference I have for her is so bright and so loud. Which, I mean, that's what I like, but for a soft pastel thing, like, this... I wanted to go something a little bit softer. Also, whenever I do her bow simplified, I always use the pan flag colors. Just because she's pan, so my character is pansexual. I'm bi, I don't really get pan people like that, but I respect y'all, y'all cool, so I made my character pan because I figured that. I feel like she would be pan, but that's like going off on a tangent. As you can see, like I'm just blushing her and like just adding like, just to make her look a little bit like, you know, how do I describe it? Just like softer and cuter. And like you can shade with pastels, but I'm not doing too much because I really wanted it to look similar to like the whole, a lot of like the pastel, like Sanrio and Sailor Moon things where they use like a lot of very limited like shading and stuff. And then you can just see how I'm doing the lips and stuff like that. But like, I feel like so many people just struggle with this. And you can see like this isn't the same like brightness but you can still see the character even her eyes i used a very pastel yellow but i'm gonna go back and like still shade it up because like her hair her eyes are so golden like that's one of her main things i can't change that and i feel like that's one of the difficulties of making her pastels because like whoever heard of pastel yellow eyes but we're doing it <laughs> I'm sorry if this video is like super rambly too because I've just been kind of chatty and like, you know, just like chatty. But yeah, I changed the color of her lines to like a purple because I thought it would look even cuter and softer. And then here I'm going with the lines again, with the eyes. I'm just using much softer colors than I normally would just so that they would be a little bit like toned down. Like normally I would go like really hard in with the shading to like make her eyes pop more. But I don't want them to like stand out as like bright and golden. And I'm just gonna put like a whole bunch of like cute little effects in there because I feel like that always makes things just look cuter. Just put lots of cute little symbols in the eyes and it gives it like a cute little sparkly effect. But like a lot of these like pastel like um Hello Kitty Sanrio S things, they use like a lot of like simplified shapes and stuff too to like really make it cute. Like this isn't like relevant to using pastel colors. You could do this like however you want. But it is relevant to getting that like cute like Sanrio effect, which is what I'm trying to do. And like I'm trying to shade with like more powdery colors of blue. I changed the blue. But yeah, it's just I wanted something like so soft. I might if you guys want this like as a print or something, let me know because my shop has been kind of dry. I haven't restocked it recently because it's so expensive to do it. And I want like people to have some interest. Because, like, it's the shipping. It's really just the shipping. It's been so expensive to ship things, especially because of COVID. So it's been a little bit difficult. So I need people to, like, pre-order, basically, and show some interest in what I'm selling so that I can, like, justify the price of shipping it over, you know? Like, I haven't really restocked in a while. Like, not since last year. And you can see I like shaded her. I'm gonna end up taking away some of these shading just because I feel like um, it takes away from like the softness like of the hair. Like that's usually how I shade curly hair, but I feel like all those shades like took away from it. Also, this is just like a lot of people were like talking about how um, they had trouble drawing curly hair for years because every single tutorial was like, super detailed and i was thinking oh my god that's how it was for me but i don't know if you guys are like into aikatsu which is like an idol anime for kids but how i learned how to do like the curly hair for val i was inspired by ki from aikatsu like the original aikatsu her hair is so fluffy that i was like this is it this is it <laughs> this is what i've been waiting for that's what we've been waiting for. So I ended up taking a lot of inspiration from like how her hair is drawn to like get my curly hair style. So 
This is just me saying basically in words, watch Aikatsu. Yes, even the new like tokusatsu live action Aikatsu, I think it's cute. A lot of my friends are kind of, eh, but I feel like that's just how everyone is when their favorite show gets a new season that's so different from the rest, you know? But like, if you guys are into like really, really cutesy, like shoujo, like just fun, feel good shows, watch the original Aikatsu and watch Precure. And I feel like Friends, Aikatsu Friends and the new Aikatsu are really good for like that feel good vibe too. But I'm not caught up with the new Aikatsu. But Aikatsu Stars is if you're like really into something that's like, Ugh. And there's like Pripada, but I'm not like as into it as my friends. My friends are like really into Pripada, so they can convince you to watch that. <laughs> Anyways, like, I'm sorry this video was kind of rambly. I just really wanted to talk while also giving you guys some tips and tricks on, like, drawing pastels and stuff. And, like, I don't know. I just wanted to talk to everybody, you know? I feel like it's been a while since I, like, really just made a video for, like, an art talk fun thing, you know? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you liked it, comment, subscribe, share, hit the bell button and all that. Show your mama, show your dog, show your kitty cat. If you have a kitty cat, show me your kitty cat. Oh my God, like I'm on Instagram and Twitter. Send me cat pictures. I want to see your fluffy kitty cats and I want to see your dogs too. <laughs> if they're silly, I want to see them. I want a cat so bad. I used to have one, but we don't have one now. Anyways, I love you guys so much. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.